All right, today I'm showing off the Hoda T6 Smart Charger. It is a little charger. However, 300 watts up to 15 amps, 90 watt PD at 5 amps. So as far as inputs, uh, pretty impressive. Right now I have it set up on my 12 volt uh, DC power supply. And you can see right there, there is a PD input right there. And here you're going to charge XT60s, but you can also charge up to 6S. So we're going to test that with the adapter here. It also comes with an XT60 to XT30 option here if you have some smaller batteries. So let's test this out and go through some of the features. First, just, you know, I am kind of interested in the fact that it's all clear. You can see inside it. It's kind of cool. Uh, up here, there are three buttons. Those buttons change certain things. For example, I press down on this button and it goes through tasks of charging. So do you want to use it as a power supply? Do you want to charge, discharge, so on and so forth? There's several options there. Now, what kind of battery do you have? High voltage, lipos, uh, lithium ions, lithium FEs, whatever it might be. Then you have voltage. How much do you want to charge it to? I put it at 419. And then it's automatically going to sense what battery's in it. I just charge a 6S. So that's what it remembers from the last charge. But as soon as I put a battery on the balance port there, it's going to know what to do. And then <clears throat> current says we don't need to mess with that. We're going to go down and then current settings. So here's where you will change um, how many amps you want to put in that battery. So we're going to dial this. If I hold down on that button there, it's going to scroll through. It goes pretty fast, so you got to be quick. And we're going to charge at 2.2. So then I hit the middle button and that locks that in. So, first thing I'm going to do is put this battery in there, put the, and it's going to tell me voltage of each one of the cells. Uh, basically, that's it. It's in standby mode. I press that button there, go through. We can, you, know, you saw how we can change different things. It automatically senses it's a 4S. We're going to charge at 2.2, start task, and away it goes. So down here, it's telling you, and you can see how, how it's charging. And you have a couple screens here. If I scroll over, it's going to show you what the internal resistance is. But it needs to go for a little bit in order for it to calculate what's really happening there. So we're going to wait a little bit and come back to this. And then we have this screen here, which gives you some environmentals about the system, how many volts are coming in, temperature of the unit, and so on and so forth. Back to that, and... And there we go. So now it's showing us the internal resistance of each one of those cells. So we can see, is there a problem? Is one of the cells much higher than the others? So just kind of gives you some more data as you're charging. Okay. It knows it's a 6S. We're going to charge at 5 amps and hit start. <clears throat> and there we go. And let's see what the internal resistance is. And again, it just takes a little time for the system to calculate kind of what's going on with each one of the cells. There you go. Now, let's, you know what? I want to charge this, or at least try to charge this, at a little bit more. Let's go up to 7 amps. See if we can do 7 amps. In the little charger, 12 volt power supply is charging up this 6S battery at 7 amps. It's pretty good. Not bad for a little system. None of my other small field chargers can do anything like that. So it's pretty impressive. Love all the data that it can give. You know, it's just a, a, definitely a solid piece of equipment. Belongs in the bag. There's a link in the description below that'll take you to the Amazon site where you can pick up one of these Hoda T6s.